Hey, what is going on everyone? My name is Dean, or as most of you know me, Twisty. Welcome to Big Bash Boom. We have a choice as we jump into it. The Big Bash or the Women's Big Bash. We're going to go for the BBL straight away. And I have played one game uh, before this as just sort of a, you know, an introduction to the game. So I kind of um, know what's happening here. We're going to play as the Melbourne Stars. We're going to come up against the Sydney Sixers here. And we're going to play a three-over game. Easy difficulty, not for me. We're going to go on hard. We're just going to use a normal ball for now. But take a look at some of the other options you've got here. You can bowl a potato. You can bowl a cherry. You can bowl a gobstopper. You can bowl a golf ball. You can even be bowling pies, which we might take a look at at the end of this one. Just trial some different stuff. Uh, and you've got all of the Big Bash stadiums as well. Marvel, Spotless, the Gabba, the MCG, the SCG, Blundstone Arena as well. Um, I think the one they don't have is is maybe uh, where they play in Geelong, right? Uh, but let's go maybe Optus Stadium. Haven't seen a lot of cricket there. Or should I just go the classic MCG? Maybe we just go the classic, the MCG. Uh, we're not going to customise our lineup too much. It's pretty straightforward here. There's only like a 14-man squad here. Um, and every single player, as far as I'm aware, looks like they have their head fully um, sort of scanned in and looking super cool, other than maybe a few guys. So, um, pretty cool. Pretty cool. The MCG. Bang, so we've won the toss. What are we going to do, bat or ball? Let's, uh, let's, let's bat first, because that's probably the most mm, impressive really? thing to do. Batting. Yes, mate. Like, choice, give us, come on, Pete. Give us a spell. All right. So for those who don't know who Pete Laser is, he's basically like one of those MCs you get at uh, at either the cricket or the football. I think he does most of the stuff at uh, Marvel Stadium uh, in Melbourne. So you might see him around there. He'd probably do the Renegades games. I'm sure if you've uh, been to a Renegades game, a Renegades home game um, there. Uh, but basically, we're going to get stuck in here. We've got a couple of options here straight away. Uh, we use our face buttons on the right-hand side to determine what shot type we're going to hit. Obviously, circle is the best button of choice um, because, obviously, it is, you know, it's circle. You want to loft the ball every single delivery. Um, and we're only in a three-over game here, I think. Um, maybe I hit a five-over game. I'm not quite sure. But um, we are going to, you know, just hit as many runs as we can. If you press triangle to ready up, then you can see... Basically, on the pitch where you want to go, you've got the choice of the aggressive, the advanced shot, or the uh, defensive shot, obviously. But, um, you know, surely you don't ever make the decision to block a delivery in this game. Like, why would you do that? Blocking is absurd. It's it's uh, frowned upon, I must say. Anyway, let's continue. And an interesting-looking timing meter as well. Sort of a circle that comes into itself for when you do need to time it. And I think it's... It's kind of good to, to have it that way because um, the ball does really come in pretty damn quickly. Um, so it is, it is you know, some time before you get the timing down, Pat. Is that a six? Just four. That's the four. I've been okay here. I don't know if I put it on. Did I put it on hard? Maybe I did put it on hard. And uh, the difference with this one compared to, I guess, that's a wide. Surely that's a wide. That's wide. Yes, it is, Pete. It is. Uh, the difference is th with this one compared to with Ashes Cricket, for those who have played it, is you do have to decide which foot you are going to be playing the shot from, whether you're going to be playing a front foot shot or a back foot shot. So that is determined by either holding down R1 or holding down R2 uh, before you obviously hit, hit the shot, before you decide to hit the shot. This one I'm going to look to just smash down the ground, I reckon. Oh, it's in the air. This could be out here. And it sure is. So, gonna lose the wicket of Ben Dunk there. Hanscom to the crease. But it was a good first over from us. Good first over. Nathan Lyon in now. Maybe we try an advanced shot. Oh, that's in the air as well. That's out as well. And Hanscom will go first ball. Oh. No, a hat trick ball now. I would, would not have predicted this. I thought my batting was okay. And Glenn Maxwell to the crease. But of course, we did cross. We did cross. 
The big show. I do like that there is um, sort of specific commentary for different players. So obviously Glenn Maxwell there has just been referred to as the big show. Um, I think probably with a game like this that it really allows them to have more specifics um, in terms of, you know, commentary and sort of, I guess, play styles because of the fact there's only about, you know, 14 or 15 in a squad. So I, I think that they, they've done pretty well um, to do that. Now, for those who are wondering, if, as you can see at the top of the screen, we've got these green bars on my side and a big pink bar on the opposite side, which is, oh, that's pretty close to being out, I reckon. Fielder is getting underneath it and he's taken it. It's another Jim wicked Curry's gone. It's Glenn hands. Maxwell. Dismissed. Very disappointed there, I am, I must say. So, uh, was that a hat trick? Oh. I don't think so, no. Nick Madison in the crease. But, those are the power ups. And as you can see, the uh, Sydney Sixers have their power up here. It'll be interesting to see if Nathan Lyon's going to use it. He is. So this power up is called Ravaging Raw Meats. Uh, has he got better catches or something? Something I think is what that uh, power up said. But there, there are all kinds of power ups you can get. Ones where the batsman can't run. One where... Um, and these are the only two that I've got, by the way, so far. One where the batsman can't run. And I had one where it was worth double points. So double points for whatever... Uh, shot I was trying to hit. Oh, I've hit it straight to the fielder again. Not out. <laughs> Get away with it there. So our pair up should be They're coming this in right this now. third over Two here. Wickets, yeah, that was a great over there. Dwarshus is going to bowl this one, and I am going to use our power up here with There's Nick Madison. What have we got? We've got Raz Revenge, which means tougher for the fielders to catch, and they throw slower, which is interesting because I wonder how this will work compared to the other power-up, where it was basically almost the complete opposite to that. Um, where, you know, they had better catches. So, interesting. At a four. four. Also, this is a very, very fast-paced match. You can see the field in the top at the middle of the screen. It's really your main choice here. That is a six. Don't even bother catching that. Anytime you see your own little logo on the ball, you know that it's yours. Now, I think I have... Oh, I've successfully pulled off a celebrate here. He's gone with the aeroplane. It's fun nonetheless to be able to pull off some celebrations. Um, and I have had a quick look and there is... There is quite a few. There is almost about a hundred, I would say. I mean, there's probably not quite a hundred, but... Probably thereabouts. That is a free hit straight down the ground. Four six. Oh, good shot. So that's it's a quality shot. And I have unlocked the goal celebration. So you can unlock, obviously, celebrations by doing different things. Oh, that's a couple of sixes in a row, if you don't mind. Back six to runs. back. It's a big one. You can obviously unlock celebrations. Um, you know just playing the game and grinding it through coins or completing uh, challenges. Whip that away. It'll be a four anyway. So I'm really putting this total on the board now after losing three wickets early. That'll be three for 47 and I've got another power up. Hopefully it's a double points one. It is. Runs and coins worth double. Oh, I've been batting so well to get some double points here. If I can get a six here, it gets me 12 runs. And that'll take my total to around about 60. Oh, yes, it is. Exquisite. Maximum runs there. Yeah, what have I got celebrations-wise? I only really know the airplane one. I don't know any other ones. So, 20 and over required after our big over there. And guess what? One of those overs only went for four runs. So, I've still managed to make 60 runs. Um... With 39 coming off that Ben Dorshus over. Incredible over. 39 runs in and over. I would not have thought that was possible. But here you go, it is. I mean, we did see 37 by the, uh, the Kiwis in, I think it was like the New Zealand T20 domestic comp the other day. Anyway, Scott Bowling's going to be bowling. And the bowling, very similar layout here to, to uh, the batting. Obviously, at, on, on the field there, you can see... Your bowling types, they are determined by your triangle, square, circle, and X. So if I want to bowl a uh, swing in swinging ball, I would press square. Um, and if I hold down L1, or if I tap L1, I can mix it up here. 
and go, hey, I want to bowl a bouncer. And just push it real slow and go bang into the pitch. Catch that. Is that a wicket? I don't think so. Might have just been off the side or column. something. Oh, look at him. He's devastated. Absolutely devastated. Not sure why. It's a great delivery. <laughs> it really was. Anyway, dot ball. Handy. In swinging delivery. Oh, that's nice too. It's been a quality start here. Very good start from Scotty Bowling. Oh, no. They finally get one away. And you just see it. Fly to the rope for six. It's obviously a... I think... Um, don't quote me on this. That I increase my power up better from dot balls. And if they hit boundaries, they will increase theirs. So... And I'm not entirely sure what this X and circle thing means at the top, Stanley, underneath the power-up stuff. Through the gap. So, there are definitely question marks over what some of these things do, but um, all the learning experience, that is good. A couple of good deliveries this over here. 53 from 13 required, but we did see out. Oh, that's close. How is it? It's got to be out. It's, it's got to be out. It had to be hitting middle and leg. Jeez, I, I would like to DRS that. I know there's no DRS in uh, in the Big Bash. I'm a little disappointed there. Adam Zampa into the attack here for the Melbourne Stars. Now going to bowl some leg spin deliveries. I think that's a no ball. Oh, and it's an edge too. Is it a no ball? It is a no ball. Yes, I might. I might need to readjust my run up. Oh, catch that, please, someone. No. Smash that for a boundary. Grab an edge or something on the way through. Oh, another no ball. Jeez. It's a no ball. Would have been completely out. Waster. Oh. Oh. Maybe just go the wrong in here. Oh, another good delivery. Like a seagull on a chip. Like a seagull on a chip. It would be good to see some of the quips uh, that good old Pete Laser will come up with here. Oh, that is a good ball. Oh, bold, Zampa. No, Pete. Dot balls are great. And slide on. So obviously your ideal timing is in the blue there. With the bowling and obviously with the field, with the batting as well, you want to get it in the blue rather than getting it in the uh, dark green, which also works. But the blue is also the super powered type delivery, so that one's in the nice zone. No run again. Got but I tell you what, the spinners come on here. They definitely their change of pace is fantastic. Nathan Lyon bowling for the other team was pretty good. Or oh, this is a catching opportunity, and I think it is out. It's taken. How can we celebrate? What have we got? The aeroplane. <laughs> it's all I've got to offer. It's the only one I actually looked up how to do. They've got the wicket and Dwayne Bravo now is going to be bowling. Good old DJ Bravo with a power up available as well. Let's see what we've got on offer here. A bowling speed boost. Bit of the Doctor Strange type uh, of stuff going on there. See how he goes, the extra pace. Maybe in swinging fast. Oh, and they've used the extra pace. 186 Ks an hour. Goes over the rope for six. What do I need to defend in this over? 39 from five. And it looks like they've got their power up available as well. Shot strength double. Yeah, he's going super saiyan there. Very interesting here. And swing in Yorker. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. I do want to clean bowl someone. That would be great. It's the one thing I have not yet done. Hit sixes. Oh, another good ball. I mean, it's going to be hard to hit the ball when you are bowling at 187 k's an hour. So, we're definitely doing the job. What if our slower ball is, like, extremely slow? Oh, it's up in the air. Could be out. Is there a man underneath? I don't think so. There's no one out in the deep. It's six anyway. Is it four? No, I, I thought that did not... I thought it carried. Looked like it might have carried. Interesting. There you go. Anyways, two deliveries left. Oh, that's a wide. Oh, the stumps, mate. Oh. 
Yeah, that's, that is slobby bowling, Pete. I must admit. Moises on reeks to the crease. Yet to face a delivery as yet. Genley has faced 10 deliveries. Do I actually have a wicket yet? Oh, I do. Oh, that's a six. If you don't mind. I mean, they still need 33 from two. So they're going to rely on my no balls here. Last delivery of the innings. Going to be a full in swinging Yorker, I reckon. And it's a good juicy ball. End of the match. The Stars are going to win. Healthy win as well. Pretty happy with themselves, the Melbourne Stars. Nice little celebration at the end there. And it's, yeah, I'm sort of a little bit torn here. Some early impressions, obviously, this is an arcade game. Not sure how well it's going to go uh, for people playing it on console. Um, I'd like to see how it goes on the Nintendo Switch. That's something that I would really like to play this on. Um, you know, where, where I think I heard somewhere that motion controls were being supported. Um, and really, I guess the thing from that is, you know, where where else is is this game going going to go? Um, what's going to keep me coming back uh, to, to this game, I guess, um, for, for more? Because at the moment, we've kind of got, you know, a very grindy type. You know, you play the tournament... If you want to customize things you can customize hats on specific players and things like that because um, really at the moment your two main customization points um, and reasons for you to continue playing are obviously grinding out uh, celebrations here Ooh, and this is one I did unlock what's this one the goal hold R2 click down and hold X oh geez that is a difficult one to do um, but there is a stack of celebrations to unlock. That's probably your biggest grindy part of the game. And then your next biggest one would be, obviously, your customization. What do you want to customize? So if I want to customize Chris Lynn, for example, um, I can customize his bat a little bit. Um, not too much. You can get a golden bat. I'm guessing that's by making like 100 runs or so with each player. Um, I can change the hats and give them a bucket hat. Um, all kinds of different hat styles as well. Um, as well as customizing the helmet type. If I want a firefighter helmet. If I want a watermelon helmet. All kinds. If I want the boomer helmet. Um, but yeah, all very much based around customization and sort of, you know, unlocking things that way. I guess online is probably going to be another thing. And then really your other main main thing is is playing as um, playing a competition of the Big Bash, I guess. Um, you've got your results here. You've got your stats here for your runs, uh, top scorers, uh, and things like that. Did they get 100, 200s by the Strikers players already? Absurd. That's incredible. No wonder they won that one. Um, but yeah, so if, if those are your three main things, playing through the Big Bash, playing against friends online, and uh, I guess playing casually, I don't know. I'm interested to see how it goes. Uh, and, and I guess how how much replayability you will, you'll want to get out of this. Given it is, you know, sort of a full price game, and um, obviously you've got both the men's and the women's players in it. Early impressions are fun, but how long will I sort of last uh, on on that initial sort of boom of fun to uh, make the pun? So that's that's sort of my first game, first real thoughts about it. I guess where where it's going to go is is my biggest question. So we'll see how that all plays out. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Let me know what you guys are thinking with your early impressions on this game. Uh, either through my gameplay or you've played the game yourself. Um, you're getting it today or you're getting it tomorrow. You're thinking about buying the game. Let me know what you think. And um, that's it from me. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.